Day four, welcome to day four of the free seven day self-love challenge. In this video, we're focusing on becoming your own hero. Get ready to dive deep. There might be emotions, there might be releases, there will be homework, and you might be a different person at the end. Today, we open the doors to the offer. Be sure to stay to the end for that. That offer closes on day seven so we can get ready for the next round. Go through the challenge as many times as you want for free. When you're ready, take the offer to go deeper. Now, let's get into it. <sighs> hey everybody, welcome to day four. Self-love, life, bravery, and gratitude. I'm excited about today for those of you that are just getting to know us. I'm Heather. And I'm David. From Sandra's Garden. Talk home. Yes. Helping people create badass lives. Bing, 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 bing. So as you guys come on today, say hi in the comments. Let us know you are here. And let's get going on this day. Now, this day is going to be a little bit different. I'm right. going to give you a different kind of assignment, and it's going to be fun. So let's talk about um, today's topic. So love, to me, is the life force of everything. So the, and this is all about self-love. Right. And uh, so love is the life force of everything, right? If you mm -hmm. got love, every everything is good, right? So life is your mission. So love is the life force, life is the mission. And bravery is the challenge. Right. Because it takes bravery to get anything going. It takes bravery to life. Yes. And it also takes bravery to love yourself. And it takes bravery to mission. It takes bravery to mission. <laughs> um, a gratitude. And today is a lot about gratitude and about bravery and about right. looking at yourself in a different way than you may have seen yourself before. And it, the, to, I have to tell you, today was a hard one for me to uh, create because I wanted to talk about gratitude. I want to talk about self-love, but as always, I like to talk about it in a way that we haven't really thought about it before, right. um, in a way that strengthens us and empowers us. So gratitude to me is the fuel that recharges that love. So that we can get back to the mission. Right. So it's a constant cycle in our life, right? Of expressing gratitude for life, for friends, for things we have, but also gratitude for ourselves. And the way I see us expressing gratitude for ourselves in the self-growth community, in the self-love, you know, uh, trend, get, are kind of different from sometimes what I think we really, really need, 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 need. Right. So I want to refuel that gratitude today for yourself in a different way. Mm -hmm. So here's my question for you this morning. And let us know in the comments. If you were your own best friend, what selfless act or act of bravery would you express gratitude to you yourself for that changed your life or even saved your life? Okay. That's, that's kind of a big one. It's deep. Yeah. And it, it, you might take this whole live to think about the answer, but I want you to think about that seriously. Mm -hmm. um, because we often will think, you know, hey, you saved my life to your best friend or your mom or your mm -hmm. mentor or whatever. You know, your words saved my life. What did you do? What act of bravery did you do that and, you really thank yourself yeah, for? Yeah. And, and for me personally, it is, um, I'm extremely grateful for myself being my own best friend to break the norms, to buck the norms and to leave dysfunctional relationships, even if there were kids involved. Okay. So for me, it was more important for my survival, perhaps even my physical survival to get myself out of a situation that was unhealthy for me so that I could thrive. And that, that's something that I'm personally very grateful for, that I have the courage, the bravery to do that in my own life, even though it went against all of the norms. Oh, you marry, you marry for life, you do this, you do that, you have kids, you've got to be there for them 24-7 and do everything that they absolutely need you to do. So, for me, holding on to my truth. That's crazy. Yeah. It's awesome. Okay, so let's talk about what bravery is. Okay, uh, bravery is... Uh, all this self-love stuff is about bravery, right? But right. bravery is the act of doing something courageous, mm -hmm. right? doing something in the face of your fear. Right. It's not doing something out of fearlessness. Right. And right? That's, that's often a misconception. Bravery is being afraid, still being afraid, acknowledging the fear and doing it anyway. 
And same thing with courage. Bravery, courage right. is kind of the two sides of mm -hmm. the same coin. Talk about a conversation we had a right. couple of weeks ago. Bravery shows up for different people in different ways. Mm -hmm. Um, and she's talking about the like, huge life change that she recently made mm -hmm. and you know, it was scary for her to do. And I was like, you're really brave. You are mm -hmm. so brave to make that change. I don't know if I could have done it in that circumstance, right. you know, because that's your bravery, not mine. And she's like, I'm not brave at all. You're brave. And I'm like, everybody has their own brave. Bravery is about doing it when you're scared shitless. It's yeah. not about fearlessness. Mm -hmm. I was like, I might look brave to some people because I'm doing things that might scare them. Right. But those things don't scare me. So for me, me coming and doing this or doing this live or talking about this or talking shit or ranting or whatever it is that I do that other people might see as brave. I don't see as brave and it's not brave because I don't have any fear around it. Right. If I was scared shitless to be on here and talk to you about stuff, mm -hmm. then this would be a brave act for me to do. But it's not. Right. It's just not. Bravery for me shows up with my kids. Right. This is where my bravery shows up. So this is where I get emotional and mama bear gets all like, mm. right. That bravery for me shows up in letting go of them and their path with a, a constant renewing faith mm -hmm. that they're going to get to where they need to get and they're going to be okay. And that their spiritual life path, their path in general, is working out as design. So I might see something that they're going through or a decision they're making that is like, no, that's not the way. Da, da, da. And I might give a little bit of motherly guidance. But then the bravest part for me is letting go and letting them choose what they want to do. To me, that's bravery for me. And that's the thing that scares me. Mm -hmm. That's my fear. So I have to constantly have faith and come back to that bravery. So, right. so that is what bravery is. Yep. Okay, let's, so, let's look at some of your comments about your bravery. Right. So what's up to uh, Nancy? Good morning. Welcome for or welcome for joining us. Thank you for joining us and welcome. Um, and uh, Chelsea says, I had the bravery to leave my toxic home at 18 and buying a home in a new town with an idiot I wasn't sure about. But because of that leap and decision, it brought me closer to finding my hubby. It grew my financial knowledge. It gave me freedom. It gave me distance. So much, so much. You've all got things that you should be proud of that you are brave mm -hmm. about. And we're going to get back to those in a big way in a mm -hmm. few minutes. So uh, as always, we're going to talk about the process. We're going to talk about the topic and then we're going to get into the meditation right. where we're going to do something really heroic today. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Right. So I want to talk about a, a little bit of funny on my part, uh, how I kind of got to talking about this topic in this way, because I wanted to talk about gratitude, but it turned into this whole other exploration. Like, let's see what other people are talking about mm -hmm. when it comes to gratitude and self-love. So what I came back with was this insipid list of self-care tips. And it was this huge black hole in the internet. And I went, I'm seeing the same stuff over, get a salt lamp for your room and clean out your closet. You'll feel better and have more self-love. Um, 50 ways of quick self-love things, you know, buy yourself a rose. And those are all beautiful self-care things. But that is putting the cart way before the horse. Right. So uh, I was thinking about how we love ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are our own home. Wherever you go, there you are like a turtle, right? Right. But our home uh, outside of us is an expression of who we are. Right. But how are we expressing ourselves in our home? Right. So this life today is like a combination of self-love with a little bit of self-care interwoven mm -hmm. to see how we can ritually embody that in our outer circumstances, bring it to life, mm -hmm. create it outside of us. So, um, a lot of the self gratitude uh, practices that I see are, I thank my body for doing the wonderful job it's done. You know, you might have body images. So you're like, thank you for taking me through life. All of these kind of thanking the body things, thanking, uh, mm -hmm. the physical things, but what about those acts of bravery? So right. we don't often think about thanking ourselves for those acts of bravery the mm -hmm. same way that we would thank someone outside of ourselves. Yeah. Because we're always thanking the people that mentored us and helped us. But we mentor ourselves in ways that we don't even notice because it's us, right? And when you see somebody doing something that would scare you, you might want to go and thank them for having that kind of courage and showing you that example and becoming that, um, that example of... So Courage. So all the self-care practices that enhance self-love are wonderful, but you mm -hmm. can Google that shit, right? Right. You're here for something you can't Google, and right. that's what we like to deliver. So what about thanking yourself for that badass shit that you did instead? 
That's mm -hmm. what we're going to do today. So I like to call this honoring your wounds. Yep. Okay. Um, I got stretch marks on my belly because I popped out two kids and that was one of the hardest things I ever did. So honoring your yeah. wounds, look at that scar. I got that because of this. So we thank our body for doing all these things, but do we honor and thank our scars and our wounds? Yeah. So that I think is more badass. I'm like, thank you body for whatever. And that's all good too. But let's think about thanking our scars and our wounds today mm -hmm. and what we took ourselves through to earn those scars and wounds, what we took ourselves through to earn those scars and wounds yep. because that you might be ashamed of a little bit and you're covering up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, here's my stretch marks. I'm not actually going to show you, but you know what I mean? Um, so let's talk about that a little bit. So I want to talk about, talk about it. Talk I, I want to talk about what I kind of like to do in my home. Um, creating an external representation of your best self. We all like to decorate our house for other people, make it mm -hmm. a pleasant place to do. But what about um, looking at things around you in your, in your environment that reflect those wounds, that, that reflect yeah. what you know, you are really about? That reflect your bravery, that reflect your authenticity, your realness. Okay, it's not about having all these tchotchkes that really don't mean anything to you. If you could eliminate all of the bullshit from your house, and when we're talking about cleaning closets, this is kind of an evolution of that, a badass evolution of that, um, is going to the essential pieces that tell you the story that you want to tell yourself, that honor the wounds and the battles that you've been through and the scars that you've, um, that you've experienced from facing those fears and doing the thing anyway. So keeping what inspires you in your environment and in your house is important. We can have a lot of decorative objects, mm -hmm. but they might not mean anything. They might just be pretty. I, years ago, I decided that I wasn't going to have any art in my house that wasn't original art. That didn't mean something to me. I didn't want just a pretty picture of a rose. This rose is a pretty picture of a rose. My uh, One of my very best friends, Lisa Mack, you can Google her on MacGallery.com, um, painted that when I went through my divorce and said, you are now blossoming like the rose. Mm -hmm. So a lot, pretty much all the art in my house was painted by someone that I know right. or myself. Mm -hmm. um, so I made that decision to like take all the poster art out and just, just put original things that were meaningful to me and my journey so that everywhere I go in my house, there's a meaningful representation of a wound. Right. So this is a representation of a very wounded part of my life, but it's something beautiful that came out of it. So that's mm -hmm. the meaning behind that picture, in case you were ever wondering what that picture was. Right. So think about um, all of those times in your life that you've been the unsung hero. All those times that you did something and then you moved on to the bad thing again. Okay. Or you focused on, oh, what I didn't do, what I didn't do, what I didn't do. How come I'm failing in life? Fuck that. Look at where you succeeded. Look at where you challenged yourself, where you took yourself to a whole nother level. And look at the objects around in your life and find any of those objects that represent that story to you. So it's very important to document our story in our homes mm -hmm. in a very real way. And um, some, some people will do this in an altar. It doesn't matter how big this space is for you. Have a space where you have some kind of a sentimental, um, authentic object that signifies to your brain the hero that you are. So we talk about altars all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Let's create an altar with our crystals and our, our effigies and our ancestors and all of those things that are beautiful to have this peaceful altar. But what about an altar to the shit you did? Mm -hmm. What about your, your own badassery. badass memorial to, your se to yourself? Mm -hmm. This doesn't have to be one, you know place on the fireplace. This can be many places for me. Mm -hmm. I like to have it all over my house. Like right. this picture is what that means to me. Right. Different objects around my house all have a story and a meaning. Right. And if you can look around your house and see how meaningful the objects are to you, really, you know, is there a story? What does it mean? And intentionally go through your closets and your drawers in a different way than cleaning out closets and just clean it out. It makes you feel better. And it does. Simplicity um, is so much nicer than clutter, right? So as I sit in my, this cluttered room, if you could see it right now, cause this is my, my daughter's got all these boxes. So I'm actually sitting in a cluttered room, even though it doesn't look cluttered. So, uh, 
find those things in those drawers. Find those awards that you won. Find mm -hmm. those representations of that special thing that you bought on that journey where you were just going through the dark night of the soul and create a space for yourself or many spaces or your entire home to represent your badass unsung hero that right. you have not created a special day for. And when we're talking about that external representation of your best self, take some stock on where those objects are in your house. Are they in a closet? Are they in a drawer? Are they out in the public? Do you see them every day? Do you remind yourself every day of how badass you really are? Even, even if you have no objects and you create a note that triggers your mind to remember a badass time in your life, a time when you did something to give yourself care, love, and to stand up for yourself, to be your own hero in your life, get the most of you. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I also wanted to, do, to uh, we talk about the hero's journey a lot. Yeah. But, and it's always after some quest to change our life into whatever, but we often forget to have that parade for ourselves. Yep. And I think that's important. And it's not egotistical. And, right. and it is like, wow. We get mm -hmm. emotional about the heroes that, that stand up for us, but do we get emotionally emotional about ourselves as the unsung hero that stood up for us when... Nobody else would, right? Or did that thing that we were scared shitless of and did it anyway. I don't care what it is. I see right. most of your comments are about leaving right. a relationship. Now, mm -hmm. relationships are the hardest thing to leave. Yes. Uh, so Flora says, leaving a 10-year dysfunctional relationship, even if it went against my parents and religious beliefs, left my comfortable job that gave me all the commodities, but was super toxic. That was some brave shit. I had to work three jobs to get by and do things I never would have thought that I would. Now, I'm scared as fuck but I'm moving to El Paso, Texas next month. I would have never done that before. And kudos to you. That is amazing. That is a part of your hero's journey, a part of your going into and facing those things and letting go of those things that are toxic that don't work for you and proving to yourself what you can do in life. Um, and then Chelsea says Sean's badass because he literally hand built our house, basement and foundation for our home. So there's your, there's your badass object right there. It's Sean himself. You're living in the badass object. You're living object. in the badass object, right? right. Um, and then Nima says a treasure box. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are something I think, I think that, uh, it, this is simple, right? Mm -hmm. It's simple, but it can be so meaningful uh, to constantly remind you, even if you kind of like the stuff in your house becomes white noise after mm -hmm. a while, you're constantly being reminded on a subconscious level right. of what you did and how much you've accomplished. And we need to revisit that for ourselves because we become numb to all the shit we already did. Right. It's like not relevant anymore. And right. it's like when we, when we go back and we watch an old movie that we loved, like a hero movie or an action movie, we get re-reminded of how cool it was. Mm -hmm. We need to do the same thing with us. We need to open that scrapbook or yeah. pull out that picture or whatever Replay your it is. story. Replay your story. We have a katana that hangs over our front door mm -hmm. that represents all of the bullshit that we've cut out of our lives and all the battles we have yet to, to fight. Right. And so even that is meaningful for us. We found that like on a side of a road from like a garage sale. But, but it, it was it was on a, an important trip for us. Right. And there's another piece that uh, that I'm personally thinking of when we went to Jamaica. Which is again, wow, what the fuck? Um, uh, yeah, again, one of those one of those emotional moments, one of those moments of standing up and being a hero for ourselves. For me, that particular piece represents being a hero and letting go of work, letting go of doing things, and just giving ourselves the freedom to have our honeymoon, to have our um, our vacation, to have our everything all in one. So yeah, we, we multitasked, but we gave ourselves and did it. We, we gave ourselves that freedom and did it for ourselves. So there's a lot here around self-love that you can glean that you're not going to Google and find on the internet because I think that unsung hero needs to be sung about. So mm -hmm. this is your assignment today is to sing about that hero. Um, you can write a song if you want. But yeah, sing the praises of your own self. So this might be a little bit of an emotional meditation today because we're I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to honor your unsung heroes. Yep. So. And there's a reason that these stories are epics. Yep. So let's look at your epic journey 
uh, love, life, bravery, and gratitude. That's what today is about. Remember, today's the day that we open the offer, so stay to the end for that. Doors close on day seven, so grab it if you're ready or do the challenge again. Let's keep going. Now, drop in the comments mm -hmm. any significant thing that you experienced. Um, yeah. I'm loving mm -hmm. this. Flora says, I was just looking at my journal last night. I've journaled for nine years now, and that was definitely a reminder of the badass shit I've done. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I said, you got to remind yourself sometimes, but we often remind ourselves in a journal, put it in a drawer. Right. Or it's in a closet in a box. So your assignment for tonight is mm -hmm. to find a spot in your house um, that can reflect that act of bravery. A spot that you see all the time. So not an altar, but an mm -hmm. active, alive reminder of your badassery and a promise to keep your finger on the pulse of how badass you are. And a good place would be maybe a nightstand or um, on a dresser or someplace that you're constantly looking, maybe in your bathroom, um, on a desk that you have, wherever it happens to be that is a constant reminder of how badass you are. And even, even if this is something that you literally hand write and post it up somewhere that's you, that you'll see it. It, the point, the point is not the object. The point is to trigger that memory and emotion inside of you that you are badass. So I told you about my rose and I'm probably gonna take a picture of this and post it on the, on the, in the comments. So what I want you to do is take a picture of that, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And it can be simple as a picture like this. It can right. be simple as, you know, this butterfly card that Aaron left here on accident, um, you know, it? means something to me, right? So, um, what it, oh, it says support, by the way, this was on the floor, Aaron, from when you did your reading last night. So, you yeah, so it's a it. butterfly. So it's probably for me. Support, like what? you are supported, right? Yeah. Which so, is also about transformation. Right. So whatever that is, I want you to take a picture of it, make it simple. Don't rearrange your whole house, but right. start thinking about your house in terms of an expression of your heroism and post it in the group shrine. That's the word I was yeah. looking for. Actually, <laughs> post it on this video. Um, make a shrine. So whatever yeah. that is, be it a picture, a post-it note, or a collection of items. I want you to take a picture and post it in the comments. You can say something about it. I would love it if you did. And if you just want to post it just there, you can do that too. You don't have to say anything, but we would love it if you did. So this card, Aaron, want to know what it says. It says support on it. Right. And it's a butterfly on a sunflower. On like a Shasta daisy. Oh, that's a sunflower. Oh, there's so many kinds of sunflowers. Yeah. I don't know if that's a Shasta daisy it's or a sunflower, a, but... It's probably a... a I don't know. It's a thing. It's, it's a flower. A thing. <laughs> yeah, All right. It's a thing. All right. So once again... Thank you guys for joining us. We know that time is a valuable and precious commodity. And the fact that you guys continue to choose to spend that not only with us, but with yourself is absolutely valued and appreciated. You are brave. I want you to, I want, if you take anything from today, I want you to take that you are brave. You've got courage and be grateful for those moments that you prove to yourself just how valuable you are. And um, if you want bonus homework, because I'm going to do it too, is I'm going to post two songs that always make me cry about heroes and bravery Yep. Uh, in the comments after this live. Yep. So, All right. So once again, this is day four. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll catch you for day five. Remember, today's the day that we open the offer. Doors close on day seven. So grab it if you're ready or do the challenge again. 